The Seebeck effect is a thermoelectric phenomenon which was discovered in the year 1821 by a German physicist named Thomas Johann Seebeck. In the simplest term, the Seebeck effect is the conversion of thermal energy into electrical energy. And to elaborate this effect, let me consider an aluminum rod which is heated at one end and cooled at the other end. The point is to create a temperature difference between the two ends of the metal. Okay. So now the electrons in the hot end or the hot region will possess greater velocities because they will have greater energy than the electrons in the cold region. So consequently there will be a net diffusion of electrons from the hot region towards the cold region which will result into accumulation of electrons in the cold region and leaving behind of positive metal ions in the hot region. Okay, so this temperature gradient, temperature gradient delta T will result in the generation of an electric field and that electric field will oppose the further movement of electrons from the hot towards the cold region and this will lead to development of a voltage delta V across the two ends of the metal or here the aluminum rod with the hot region with the positive potential and the cold region with the negative potential. So, this potential delta V which is generated across a piece of metal due to a temperature gradient delta T is called the Seebeck effect and the factor which gives us the magnitude of this effect is called the Seebeck coefficient or the thermoelectric coefficient and mathematically the Seebeck coefficient is given by S is equal to dV by dt. It can also be written as the difference of the voltage between the hot and the cold region divided by the temperature difference between the hot and the cold region. And from here we can write the delta V which is the voltage generated across the two ends of the metal is equal to the Seebeck coefficient multiplied by dt. Let me write it as equation number 1. So now, if I take two different wires and suppose this is a wire made of metal A and this is another wire made of metal B and I maintain the two junctions at different temperatures. Suppose this junction is made hot and this junction is made cold, then the EMF which is generated across the wires will be given as the EMF generated will be written as VAB is equal to delta V which is generated across the wire A minus delta V of the wire B. Okay, so this VAB can also be written as integration from T0 to T which is the initial to the final temperature C by coefficient of A minus C by coefficient of B into dt because from equation 1 we know that delta V is equal to S into dt so we can replace it here and we will get the expression for the EMF generated across the wires. Alright, so C back after studying the properties of the some pairs of metals or different pairs of metals he arranged them in a series which is called the thermoelectric series and the direction of the current at the hot junction, at this junction, is always from the, will be always from the metal which occurs earlier in the series towards the metal which comes later in the series. Say for example, this wire A is made up of copper Cu and this B metal is say iron Fe. So here at the hot junction, the direction of the current will be from copper to iron because the metal copper comes before iron before iron in the thermoelectric series. Alright, uh, a very important property of the Seebeck effect is that if we interchange the hot and the cold junction that is if I make this junction 
coal and the coal junction i will make it hot we are interchanging the two junction then the direction of the current will reverse now the direction of the current reverses and hence the seebeck effect is called reversible process now coming towards the applications of seebeck effect the seebeck effect is utilized in thermocouples which is a thermoelectric device composed of at least two different conductors or semiconductors it is used for measuring the temperature difference or the rise in temperature by converting the voltage into its corresponding temperature it is also used in thermopiles which is a device composed of a number of thermocouples linked in series or parallel connection to acquire usable voltage another use of seebeck effect is in power generation large machines that put out waste heat can use a thermoelectric generator to boost efficiency by turning the heat energy into electricity and putting it back into the system